Hi guys, what's up? So it's been a very long journey of figuring out the right lighting, the right standing position, but I guess everyone has that. So today I'm just gonna do a get ready with me, or like, I'm just gonna apply makeup to my face. I'm not going anywhere, I might go out. I have an assignment due, so I, I probably shouldn't go out. I should do the assignment. I've only done two questions out of the seven. <sighs> But, we can talk about some new things that are happening in my life, in the world, whatever. So you can grab yourself a drink. I have one. It's water because it's currently 10 a.m. Drink responsibly. First things first, we should probably talk about... Well, I've already done all like my skincare... Um, the, like what I do in the morning and I've applied sunscreen. But I feel like when you... Um, you do need some kind of a base that's not exactly a primer. I've personally been using this. It's a hydrating serum. Um, it has hyaluronic acid. It's not a serum. It's not anything you should, like if you are relying to get uh, hyaluronic acid, this is not it. But I've been finding it so good to put on like just before your makeup to give it some extra hydration if you are thinking of like buying it as a hyaluronic acid serum it's not good that's all i have to say but it's so good for this purpose um uh, so i'm also gonna apply some vaseline on my lips and just keep it there until it's time to put on lipstick so well, i've had this for so long. Does that sound go bad? You know that? You know that little like container? You know that, and that, like the container they have in the back? If you can hear the outside, there's always construction going. I think that's like the perk of living downtown is that you can't ever have some like sleep. I'm gonna put some around the eye just because I know when I apply concealer sometimes um, my eyes like the under eye will crease. I don't know if this has anything to do with it. I don't know if it will help, but let's just try it. It should, in theory, it should, right? Um, there are a lot of ceramides in this, I think. When you're applying um, anything underneath your eyes, always use the fourth finger, just because it's your least used finger most times. And that's means that it has much more delicate skin. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm very stressed out. Uh, so let's just start talking. I have a list of all the things that I was like, okay, um, so that I don't ramble on and on like I, like I just did for the past four minutes. Uh, I made a list on my notes here. And the first thing is school. Um, is anyone in summer school? I don't know. Um, it's just, maybe it's just me. I, I'm not handling it well. Like some, some classes, I'm really doing so well. Some classes I've started doing better at. Like I'm not talking about, um, not necessarily talking about classes as in like grades. I'm talking about the stress management. We don't need to talk about grades, okay? We don't, we don't need to like ruin our lives today. So this is the primer that I use, by the way. It's by CoverGirl. I think I showed it on my last Get Ready With Me video. And did I already explain why I'm wearing shades? I'm wearing shades because I want to keep my hair completely, completely out of my face. Okay, so anyway, primer is on. What was I talking about? Oh, school. Yeah, it's awful. That's it. Like, the stress that I'm having from school, it's crazy. I know that a lot of people say this, um, like, for summer semesters because they're so short. Like, you know, how many, how many semesters are you really, sorry, how many classes can you really do in a four month time span? Like, this, it, it may, did you see that? Okay, um, so yeah, I mixed my two favorite foundations. For the summer, usually I don't do this. Um, the Bourgeois 
um, air matte, whatever. And then this is the Milani. I believe it's the Conceal and Perfect, my OG, my all-time favorite. For the summer, I mixed the two because just the Milani is too full coverage. And for all the other times, I don't. I just wear the Milani if I am wearing foundation. Okay, let's be real. I don't wear makeup most days, but it's, it's fun to play with, though. Anyway, back to school. Let's talk about the classes that I'm taking. I've been taking, um, I took OCHEM 1 and 2. This, what am I doing? Is this too light? <laughs> I think I put a little bit too much foundation on. It's okay, guys. We'll figure it out. But yeah, I've been taking OCHEM 1 and 2. I took biochemistry, and, like, biochemistry is done. OCHEM 1 would have been done, except I delayed, I delayed the final. So, technically, it's not done. Um, so I'm taking OCHEM 2 as well, but yeah, I'm not like I'm, I don't have lectures from OCHEM 1, but I didn't I felt like I needed more time and Honestly, I'm gonna leave next summer if I am to be taking courses I'm gonna leave that for either gen ed courses or simply electives or classes that I like truly think What is this color? <laughs> It's very difficult to like blend when you're not paying attention but yeah i'm gonna leave for next summer for either gen ed courses or courses that i know i can get good grades easily and i don't need to focus as much just random electives because sometimes you just need to take classes for fun that maybe aren't in your major but you think they're gonna add something to your life because right now I'm taking cell biology and I love cell bio. I, all branches of biochemistry, if you don't know, I major in biochemistry and molecular biology, but all branches of biology and chemistry, everything I love. I love biochemistry the most. It's my favorite thing to talk about. And I personally think that if you apply biochemistry, you get top, you get um, subjects like cell biology and microbiology, even molecular bio. I feel like it's applied biochemistry, or maybe it's the other way sometimes. Whatever. But I haven't been dealing with it that well. Like I'm, I'm doing everything I can. Well, at least I think I'm doing everything I can. But and then. All of a sudden, I'm struggling. How is my... Oh yeah, it actually looks good, I think. I mean, I think... Does it though? Should I put a little bit more? What do you think? I put a lot. So, this part and this part are probably not my favorite. Yeah. So let's put some more over there. And just make sure everything is nice. Um, so the, I'm just using the same combo of foundations and just put some over here. Anyway, what was I talking about? Road. Um, so, oh, I'm also taking another class which is called Research and Methods in Biology. Or biochemistry uh, it's supposed to be the lab component of genetics um, biochemistry and cell biology so you have these three courses that don't have a lab and you have a whole course based on their lab I don't know what happened with the time it's okay so for some reason my camera stops recording after 10 minutes but I caught it um, okay so I'm taking the lab component, but as you know, I'm in Vancouver. If you didn't know, I'm in Vancouver. I study in Toronto. So in Vancouver, that's where my family lives. Okay, now I'm going to put some powder on my face. This is a powder that I use by Maybelline Fit Me. This is like a classic, an OG. You don't need to like, we don't need to talk about it. You, If you haven't tried this powder, you should. It's good gonna work out for you most likely they have different ones anyway so this class now this is the class I have an assignment for so this class is just honestly horrible because if I was doing this class in a lab 
it would be amazing but um you know the part the fun part the part where you get to do the experiments and watch things and learn you're just they're taking that out they're taking that out completely and they're giving me tables of data that i didn't even collect and i'm just there like okay i'm just gonna do the lab report i'm gonna do the grunt or the office work you know it's obviously this is this was a part of the class before but they got to have fun and because of covid i'm not complaining i mean i am complaining but like you know i know i know what happened with COVID. I'm just a little bit upset because this was the class that we were all looking for, like looking forward to all the OCHEM labs and all of these labs. I don't even want to get into the OCHEM labs. Personally, I love them. I love doing even the lab reports. OCHEM hits different. Chemistry hits different with me. Hold on, let me just look in the mirror for a second. Anyway, chemistry hits different for me, so because the labs are much more fun to sorry the lab reports are much more fun to write it's different i kind of want to figure out which lipstick to take in order to continue with the rest of my makeup i should be doing the assignment i'm not doing the assignment with the lab report with the data that i didn't even collect but it's fine i'm not i'm not angry obviously oh this is the bronzer that i use it's by l'oreal um back to bronze i've been using it for years amazing so this is all like my holy grail most of them are drugstore products just because that's the stuff that works for me and i don't wear makeup enough to like spend so much on makeup you know what i mean anyway not the point so back to my courses um so yeah it's just it's frustrating it's a little frustrating and I know that there is so much more that has happened in the world due to COVID. Obviously, I know this is nothing compared to it and I shouldn't even be complaining. I'm just saying it's a little frustrating. You know, I was looking forward to this. I was looking forward to learning and being in the lab and doing PCR reactions and them not working and doing them again and again and again. Like This was a class that was taught in the lab. It wasn't a class that had lectures. And now we have to learn about it. Sorry, not have to learn about it. And now we have to deal with, you know, we're all doing what we can. The professor's nice, so we're, it's fine. And we're at the end of the pandemic. We've come too far to let things like this upset us. So next year I actually do have a lot of classes in person. Fingers crossed, nothing changes in Toronto just because it's, Toronto <laughs> so yeah it's okay I'm gonna get over it um so not a worry in the world so that's one thing that's been going on very stressed out because of school um I don't know why York specifically does this I don't know if it's just York but I know York does this now that I've said that a million times, so let's get to like what I was talking about. Um, we always have our all of our assignments and all of our tests like all in the same week, you know, from all of our classes. And it's like, do other schools do this, or does York just, you know, is weeding out pre meds or whatever? I'm not a pre med. I'm a biochemistry student. I will go to medical school, but I'm not a pre med. I don't call myself that. Since we were talking about medical school, that brings me to my next subject, which is more studying and I'm putting way too much bronzer on because I so I think I put way too much on. Let me just grab some my powder brush and some powder just to like make sure. That was very angry of me to do that. But anyway. I might bake a little down here or add some concealer, who knows. Oh, that's something I haven't done. I haven't added concealer. Yeah, my makeup is so organized and it's like, it's honestly still very organized. What, should I do a bright lip? What do you guys think? Well, you can't answer me, but. Um, 
Okay, what else should we talk about? Oh yeah, the MCAT. So, um, I hate studying for the MCAT. Um, that's the final decision that I've made. I hate studying for it because I have already taken so many classes. Like I'm going into third year classes, so it's just that's a lot, you know. That's a lot of things to have already taken, which means that and I hate studying for the MCAT. <laughs> So this is a blush that I use most days. It's by Fit Me. Should we try? Should we try something new? Should we try? Should we try this one? You know the. Should we? Should we do this? Yeah, let's try it. Oh, it's very sheer. I like it. Okay, pretty. So are you supposed to leave it like? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, but it disappeared. I don't like it. If you like, don't blend it with a beauty blender that has foundation on. Is that is that what we learned from this? Okay. Anyway, uh, so f about the uncat. So I'm going back to my um, blush. About the uncat. Um, I I don't like studying for it because I feel like I know most of the things. You know, I'm still studying for it. I'm using the Kaplan books. They're very big and bulky. Um, they're nice for it. It's just... I just feel like no matter how much I study, I'm not doing it enough. Does anyone else feel that while studying for the MCAT? It just it feels like I'm not doing enough at all times not enough for school not enough for getting into med school just in general and it's a really it's a really bad feeling to have and trying to overcome that now we need to be a little bit more disciplined as students we need to be more resilient we can't you know i i hate this i hate things being this way because of our well i really did everything but forgot concealer which one should i use i have like six thousand this one where's the other one? Oh, there it is this one's like more probably my shade now that i'm a lot more tan i really wanted to use the mirror but guess not okay i'm not a big fan of like incredibly bright under eyes girl what did you do over here like this isn't 2016 youtube but yeah i'm not a big fan of like bright under eyes so but i do like them when they're subtle but this is something i'll use when i'm not tan um okay but yeah, what was I saying? As students, we need to be more resilient when it comes to to studying. And some of you probably are and you're watching me and just like, okay, but it's just a feeling you're having. You can't, we can't base our life of what feelings we're going for, you know? So, okay, so I don't know if anyone else's camera does this and just like shuts off after 10 minutes but it has been doing that since I bought it so that's just it is what it is I'm thinking of switching my MacBook um, from an old air and then going to Apple trading it in for a new one that's just something that oh this is where the hyaluronic acid went when it's sprayed all over so I'm using the Morphe um, whatever this is and I'm gonna just apply it all over my face. Not apply it, spray it all over my face because I am done the base makeup. So now I just have eyes and lips. Wow. So yeah. So all of these things are making my life personally stressful. Um I'm specifically like not liking the physics section of the MCAT, but I'm taking my last physics classes like coming up, so I'm not gonna focus too much on it. But um, 
I shouldn't, I'm not as worried as I thought I would be. And it's funny because because I'm not as worried as that, because I'm not as worried as I thought I would be, that makes me more worried. And that's just awful. Because it's just no reason. What? Why am I having this anxiety for no reason? So I probably, I have three pop palettes here. All the palettes that I use are from Morphe. Now, I wish I had ColourPop or BH Cosmetics in Canada, but like I said, it's Canada, so we don't have it. So Morphe's like the closest thing. I'm not gonna blind you, but this is a palette that I'm using today. Um, I don't know which colors yet. Uh, well, I do. I sort of have it figured out in my head. And then we're gonna go for like maybe a pink lip. We're gonna go for one of these guys. So either this one or this color. Maybe this one. We'll try both. We'll see which one works better. Um, that's how I decide though. That's how I decide how my makeup is gonna go. I pick a color, like I pick a lipstick and then I ma match my eye look to the lipstick. But yeah, be but yeah, I'm taking the MCAT in January, so what I should be focusing on is finding a research spot. I hate that COVID did this to us science students because now we just don't have the experience that these lab classes that are supposed to build us on. Um, I don't have that experience. I have it through a screen. Now we're doing what we can. We're just whatever. We're gonna pray, we're gonna just do our best and hope that that leads us somewhere. I'm going to mass email my professors or any other place I can find because that's just, I feel like that's just what anyone should do. I'm gonna prime my lids with concealer. I find that works much better than an eyeshadow primer, but also it's just another step. Like there's just too many steps. But I feel like I should buy an eyeshadow primer because and when you're doing your makeup for fun, you know, it's art. Whatever you add makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna go with a big fluffy brush on like an orange and pink mix. So f this shade, for example, it's like, these two shades are like, sorry, do you see them? These two? Are they in the back? No, no, no. So they're like, creamy this one is a lot more um this one's a lot more of a shimmer but yeah they're like this one's like completely creamy so i'm gonna set my lid with that because even if it has a little bit of a sparkle i'm okay with it so i'm not gonna go for crazy pink on the eyes because that's gonna be the lips moment so um what else should we talk about there's like a lot of things I could talk about. So we talked about, yeah, we talked about school and stress. Talking about the MCAT and stress. So let's talk about de-stressing. Wow, that was lame. That was really lame. So one thing I've found is I, I haven't perfected it, but my skincare routine has gotten so much better. So now that I put this all over, I guess I should, oh, I have a mirror right here. I should probably just look over here. Um, so I guess since I, just wait a second. I'm going to grab another sort of fluffy brush. Actually, I need a fluffier brush. Let's see, which one would use this fluffier? This one. We're going to go with that one. Probably should wash these more off. Okay, so I'm gonna go and mix. So I'm gonna go first and mix the first two, like the pink shades. And also mix it, so I'm gonna do one more. And then I'm gonna mix it with this orange one right there. And then, hold on, I'll just use this mirror. And you can put this like all over the lid. Oh, you can't see. Oh, this is easy. It's easy to do your makeup here. 
So the thing is, this isn't, oh, you can't see. Oh, it's not too blurry, I'm sorry. So this isn't too crazy, but now we're gonna go on it with a lot more pink because we are doing that pink look today. So the thing is, I'm not gonna go for a crazy shimmer pink like I want to, but I'm not gonna do that. So we're not gonna go for that. We might even darken the inner corner with a little bit of brown. Yeah, that did nothing. Do you see that doing anything? Okay, so now let's go to the other eye and do the same thing. Because, I don't know, I work better this way. So yeah, let's talk about de-stressing. So one thing that I have been doing is... That helps with the stress, but clearly doesn't help enough. I'm perfecting my skincare routine. So what I've been using, um, other than the cleanser and moisturizer, my skin is pretty good. Like, if you guys saw it, hold on, let me see, is it good? It's okay, like, it's, it's a lot better than it has been. So that's what, that's what, um, is important to me. So now we're gonna go a little bit more in with an orange. So yeah, that's what's important to me, that my skin is better. I have been adding like a supplemental steps, not a, but many supplemental steps to my routine. Um, using things like the ordinary, um, you know when you take vitamins, right? So if you take vit vitamins to boost your immune system and like, you're not expecting that to fix your to boost your digestive system because you're taking them for your immune system. It might do a little bit here and there, but the most you're gonna notice is in your immune system because that's what the vitamin is for, or the mineral. Now, that's how I've been using the Ordinary. And I'm using niacinamide, like other than my cleanser and my moisturizer, sunscreen. Um, that's really it. And then the steps in the middle are just ordinary stuff uh my cleanser and moisturizer are not from or the ordinary but i've just been trying it i was using niacinamide before but i had heard that the ordinary's niacinamide is actually really good so i was like okay let's try it it's cheap which is crazy to think about like a product that's cheap um and on top of that on top of that it's also good. It's also like it, a lot of people have been have been saying that it's good. So I've been using niacinamide morning and night, and other, except for the fact that like it's clearing my skin even more, it's clearing even the little bumps. It's also giving me a really nice glow throughout the day that looks beautiful, in my opinion. Okay, so I'm putting this shade in the. Well, I'm putting it all over the lid, and then we'll figure out what to do with the rest so now i guess we can blend it and add more pink to the sides and put an eyeliner on and have it be like a soft makeup look glam whatever okay i think i'm gonna add the champagne color Okay, so I think, so my camera apparently was too hot, so I had to let it cool off. I stopped doing my makeup though. So I'm going to put this champagne-y color in my inner corner. And then, um, not inner corner, inner corner and um, like the beginning of the eyelid. And then blend it out as much as I can because it's good a lot of it has fallen out so i'm just gonna have to put concealer in here which i knew i was gonna have to do anyway so i think oh what am i doing i think that that it looks nice in my opinion let's put some more orange i feel like the orange kind of faded what i usually do is what the brushes i just don't feel like doing that right now Um, in the Jaclyn Hill palette that I've got right here, they have better champagne-y colors, but I guess I'll just, 
I'll leave it at this. It looks okay. I like it on me, and it always looks different on camera. So now I'm gonna grab the concealer. I probably need the mirror. I should have used the mirror like throughout. Cause I was using the mirror that I've got right here, but because I can't see, um, it wasn't doing me much of a favor. Okay, so we're just gonna do that setting, and I should probably apply eyeshadow to my under eyes as well. So let's do that. Let's set it and. And continue. You didn't see that, did you? Oh yeah, you did. Wait, why am I happy about that? Um, okay, so yeah, let's talk about how I've been adding niacinamide to my routine. But also, other than that, I've been using lactic acid at night. So basically, what I want, other than from my base of a skincare, is to add niacinamide and use lactic acid. And once a week, sort of more once in 10 days. I've been using this salicylic acid mask from that. And three times a week, I'm using retinol. Now about retinol, I do want to find a more inclusive retinol because I feel like their products, you know, when they say like, oh, it has niacinamide and zinc, that's all it has. It doesn't have anything else that will aid with hydration. Maybe a little bit, maybe not. But for the most part, it's like straight up like oh you you're getting this like what we say which makes sense but we're not used to it you know as consumers we're used to getting I'm just gonna like set my under eyes with this powder because I applied the um, concealer again we're used to getting um, like a whole thing, you know, if it's like a hydrating serum, it has all these ingredients like hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, any other thing, like so many peptides, even amino acids will help with that, and it has all these things, like lower quantities, whereas like the ordinary is like, my degree in biochemistry is really helpful towards using the skincare like that. I do like Neon more, it's a lot more expensive, but I do like it more. Uh, I should probably put some eyeliner while this sets. <sighs> Which one should we use today? What's this? That's a lipstick. Okay, we'll use this one. This is the one I always use. It's by Gauche or whatever. I think I got it with Ipsy. The, one, the thing I don't like about this eyeliner is because it's really thick. So, speaking of supplements, which we weren't talking about, we are talking about like using skincare as supplements. Um, I found that vitamin B is really helping me out. Not only with um, stress, but with a lot of like, with like managing a lot of things too. Like mood wise, it's helping. I'm ruining this. Wow, that is terrible. The eyeliner is really bad. Should we just care? I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Okay, I fixed it a little bit. I'm noticing that, like, how good things at the very end of my eye look. Like, I don't need the whole line. I think I think I don't. I think I don't need the whole line. I don't know how to do eyeliner yet. Um, it's been like six years of me trying, but I don't know how to do it with one hand, but with two hands, I can do it. Wow, I said that like such a big thing. Um, so yeah, that's good, I guess. Anything else? Let's talk about other things. Because, okay, TV shows. Um, that's, that's the next thing on my list. So I guess the main two is a season two of Never Have I Ever and the first season of Loki. Both I loved. Loki was kind of all over the place for me, but I don't know if that's Loki's fault necessarily. Um, Tom Hiddleston did an amazing job, but that's to be expected from Tom Hiddleston. I'm using this mascara by L'Oreal. First I'll use um, the lower lash thing. Wait, no, you know what? I'm not going to use this one. I'm using one by Pure Cosmetics. I like that one more. It's more subtle. This is a little glam, in my opinion. And I might do some eyebrows. Where is it? Here it is. 
so cute. This is what it looks like. Um, I also got this in a mini, not a mini, I got this in an Epsi bag. It's really good. So yeah, Tom Hiddleston, um, probably the best part of it, and it was an amazing show. But you know how good the Marvel cast is, so. Are you guys really surprised that he did well? See, look, one coat. You can totally see the difference. And I only, like, dipped it once in the, see, in the bowl, but in the mascara pot. Um, he was fantastic. It was crazy. Did not like Sylvie. Um, like, the actress was good. Like, don't get me wrong. The actress is fine. It was just, um, I just simply, like, didn't like what they did with female Loki. I wasn't expecting them to just completely disregard the fact that, um, they're, like, Amora is, Amora is a totally different character. Um, I don't know, I didn't like it as much, but I, it, was, it was good, it was okay. Like, it could have been a lot worse, basically, that's what I'm saying. Okay, let's do... Okay, let's do my lower lashes with the, not lashes, um, my lower eye line thing with the same colors that I used. I'm just gonna use pink and orange and just mix them all up and then... And then I just have to do my lips because I'm not really into doing eyebrows right now. Should we do a little bit so that there is some for you to look at? I mean, there's definitely eyebrows here. I feel like I don't need it. I'm just going to mess the look up. I'm just going to apply the lipstick. So yeah, 5 out of 5 stars for Loki. Um, probably 9 out of 10 or... Hmm, did I just eat it? Probably 9 out of 10 or 5.5 stars for Never Have I Ever. 4.5 stars. I'm going to be a doctor. Very good math. Okay, so this is the last step. I'm putting on some lip oil. This is from e.l.f. The lipstick that I just put on was from Clarins. I think it looks cute. Very, very beautiful look on me. Um, so yeah, this was the video. I hope you enjoyed me rambling and made me feel better. I hope you liked it and I'll see you on the next video.